What's up, YouTube? It's uh, Drag Bus Dave. I got a little haul video back for you. Uh, this is uh, not going to be anything spectacular. I just got out, um, went to, by the flea market. Um, here it's open Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I uh, just set a couple of heavyweights up here just to have something in the background. Um, but anyway, uh, got a couple of new black walls, got a few new red, well, four new red lines, four new black walls, and uh, a couple of them are going to be uh, pretty cool. So, <clears throat> I also got a couple of carded things. I got uh, a couple old matchbox from like, what, late 80s, early 90s uh, on this old card. Uh, Peterbilt uh, tanker. Pretty cool. It wasn't in this Protecto, actually. Uh, I bought some Protectos from the guy for a buck a piece, and I just put them on this stuff to carry them home, uh, just so it would, you know, wouldn't get smashed up on the way home, and I'd have something to put it in. I may actually open these. Uh, <clears throat> they were a couple bucks a piece, by the way, two bucks. Uh, four by four Chevy van. Really cool, man. I like this a lot. It's got those wild, like that uh, lime yellow with the. Uh, uh, hot pink and blue designs on there real 80s looking stuff and isn't that the same uh, uh, CT uh, uh, construction uh, wheels uh, that were used on some of the early 90s uh, stuff uh, the construction stuff for Hot Wheels and that then looks just like them look at that middle I don't know could be wrong but I swear I've got some that have that design they're like the uh, variation wheels or whatever but uh, anyway, pretty cool pieces. Both of those old matchbox. Those were a couple bucks a piece. And then I picked up another uh, blue card. Um, getting right on up there on blue cards. I need to do another blue card video because I've been picking some up uh, before I was back making videos. And uh, I think I'm, you know, maybe I was going to try to do most as, mi as many of one to 300 as I could do. Um, and... I'm not quite halfway. I've got a little over 100, I think. But anyway, uh, this is number 77, uh, by women. I've got a blue one, uh, but this is the uh, black with the like light aqua, uh, the lighter blue around the eagle, the light aqua blue around the eagle, red interior. This one is uh, is not super valuable. It's only like a you know. I don't know, twenty dollar. The blue one is a little better that I have, and then I still need a maroon, a couple of the maroon variation. Speed points guard. Oh, and you see my bag of trash too over there. That's uh, that's not my um, that's my haul for later. I gotta haul that out. <laughs> but uh, I'll haul it out in this. Check it out, little sanitation truck. Uh, actually, it's called Trash Truck, but uh, it says Department of Sanitation on there. Pretty cool. And uh, that was a couple bucks. Here, let me see if I can show you. It's in pretty good condition. Tampo's uh, nice if it'll focus. Hang on. Focus in. There you go. Uh, it's got a little bit of edge wear, but uh, the most of the chrome, you know, all the chromes on the wheels, and it's not bad for a couple bucks and then uh we got a hong kong uh light green bywayman up here uh and it's in really good shape the uh, tampo's nice the paint's nice it's got a spot back here where it looks like the chrome like uh went over onto the wheel which i guess that happened from time to time um uh, and then got a cool sunnigan back here uh which is uh really nice except for around the uh, windshield the posts right here have got wear but let me uh, raise up the uh hang on just a second raise the little camp at the top up there we go there we go so nice and functional it's uh it's got all its chrome on its wheels and it's in pretty good condition it's got the bike on the back and everything um and then a couple bucks i mean i got a pretty good buy on these uh, black walls and uh check this out i had traded my swat off i'm trying to get my seam machine series back completed i had traded my swat to cracker and look at this one man insanely clean it is so nice Tampo's perfect. The paint's perfect. I don't see a chip on this thing anywhere. Really nice. Oh, my battery's running low. But anyway, uh, 
this one real nice now that one i think i gave like eight bucks for. i gave a little these were like two and this one was a couple bucks more this was a few bucks more i think it was eight or ten um and then let me show you these guys right here the uh, red lines coming up uh first we got a, a magenta sand crab really nice and uh, magenta is beginning to be one of my favorite colors uh, i've got a magenta swinging wing right there and got a magenta hot heat it almost looks like magenta there doesn't it and then i got a magenta power pad i've got some other magenta too but I, anyway uh so magenta sand crab good condition too on this one now it's got some of the flower power uh sticker still on there but uh the uh, chrome most of the chrome's on the wheels this is not broke all the time that uh, windshield and that little top are broken this one's not the one spot the reason I got such a good deal it's got one little scrape one little spot over the fender right there but <laughs> and the stickers but other than that man, this thing's in great condition even on the front doesn't have much wear so uh, there's the sand crab uh, up next and I've got another magenta car from today too, but uh, now we've got a light green uh, cement truck. Pretty cool. Uh, this one's light green. And same color as the light green short order and the light green uh, demon there. The reason I know that demon and that uh, short order that they're light green is uh, the demon they didn't make a uh, lime. And lime is more yellowy. I'm trying to think. I don't have a lime out right now, but like that's yellow. Uh, lime is closer to that or, and antifreeze than it is to uh, light green. Uh, so this is light green. It's not the best color but uh, in the uh, cement truck, but it's, uh, it's about middle of the way. Uh, I think it's a pretty decent color, about halfway uh, on the list. And this one's in good condition. It's got most of the chrome on the wheels. The base is not great, but it's uh, it's not bad. Uh, and I got a really good buy on these. So light green cement mixer. And then the last two red lines are really my, my favorite finds for the day. And uh, one of them is a magenta. <laughs> Man, check this out. A magenta noodle head. Uh, this is my first noodle head. Uh, seems like uh, I almost picked one up at a uh, flea market uh, sometime last year and never did. And man, this thing rolls like, I mean, it is such a smooth roller. Uh, I don't know what it is, but the balance, the weight and everything. And I've always heard that, uh, you know, the weight of this thing, um, that it's a really good downhill racer. And... Uh, check it out this is my first now i say it's my first noodle head uh, i've got the remake i've had the remakes from the redline club and i've had those loose the um they don't call it noodle head no, uh noodlist something like that whatever uh but yeah this is a uh, noodle head and uh really cool really cool noodle head in magenta you can see that so it's right in the family is the uh, sand crab sand crab looks a little darker it might have a little bit of toning on the hood but um yeah that magenta noodle head sweet i was really happy to pick that one up so uh, and then up last uh i thought the noodle head you know would uh, man that'd be a good uh, finale right there just to uh for the magenta noodle head but uh no i've got a, a car that ends up being a little bit better than that uh, and uh, let me see if I can pull, pull it up base first now the base is kind of tarnished but people handling them over the years the holes in your skin and stuff do that but uh, let's see if I can get this to zoom in you can tell it's a US base custom Mustang 1968 Mattel US base uh, really cool really cool and uh, just awesome antifreeze US base and here's the thing those specs there are not paint chips there it's it's just some toning in the paint uh, those little spots those little blotches right there it's just toning and it's got a little bit more on the hood 
but uh, the glass is nice the interior is nice the wheels are missing a little bit of the the uh, chrome off of there but those had these were the uh, not the shiny chrome but kind of the dingy uh, chrome or the uh, dingy the uh, satin finish chrome wheels and uh, see it's got some of that toning spots up there but man the everything functions properly the hood even stays up and uh, the engine's nice and clean in there and uh, antifreeze antifreeze us custom mustang and uh wow really nice real nice i got a, a good deal on that too antifreeze custom mustang us edition um so that's my haul for today hope everybody's having a good one and uh i'll uh, catch you later peace